today I just uh, watch a very funny clip from friends again uh, and it is called the friendly finger the reason why it is called like that is because uh, it is derived from the I mean it is a scene in the conversation between Ross and Rachel both of them are loving each other but they have a fight and the, the way they act is very immature. Um, Ross is um, telling lies about having a relationship with a woman. Her name is Amanda. And Rachel is acting as if she has a happy relationship with a young guy. His name is Josh. Both of them's uh, goal is to make the other person jealous about the relationship so Ross came home uh, came to the group comes to the group and keeps acting like oh Amanda gave me this phone number she's a uh, heart and pretty and Rachel even kisses Joss in front of people and keep complimenting on Joss like a young and hot guy a very sporty man um, but in reality it is just very emerger, very crazy because uh, Ross in, is actually Amanda's babysitter and Rachel's boyfriend is so young, is too young. Even he steals a couple of bucks, uh, steals money and a leather jacket from Rachel. Uh, and the reason there is a friendly finger right here is because when you somebody wants to give the other person the finger, I mean the middle finger, like an insulting behavior and Ross come up with a weird, a dumb um, actions. He put his two, el he put his two elbows together. Uh, that is an, an act that he did when he was in charge a child to try to fool the parents, according to Monica. So let's try, um, let's go through the clips and I can review some expressions, some culture notes, some vocabularies uh, to learn. It's a good way to learn English. Almost lost this baby. This scene, um, this baby here is a, is a paper with Amanda's phone number and he feel so excited about the phone number, the note, the paper with phone number and he tries to um, make Rachel jealous and he's almost chopping the paper in front of her face so he say almost lost it, almost lost this baby. Ross is referring to that piece of paper as baby. This is just an informal way to refer to something as seen in these examples. Instead of baby, people sometimes say bad boy, especially or not necessarily when it's something impressive, like a sports car, for example. I remember when I was um, going to, um, what is it called, a town? A town in the North Carolina, uh, which is four hours of drive from my place. Um, and I saw some orchard and um, they call them feed the baby. Like we buy some food for the orchard and feed them. Seriously, when the, when the girl gets, the going gets tougher, you don't want to, a criminal lawyer. When the going gets tough, when the, go, when the going gets tough, it's an, an expression to say that Everything gets tougher, gets more difficult when the going gets tough, when the going gets tough. So I'm going over to Amanda's tonight. In this case, we don't need to say go to Amanda's house tonight. We just need to say I'm going over. I'm going over to Amanda's tonight. Toot is a common word that's used to address a guy or a man informally. So in this case, Josh uh, say hi to everyone, uh, to, to Ross, and he say toot, like um, just say hi to Ross. I still do, let's see, I hope to make Vasari though, Vasari, Vasari though. So when Monica asked if uh, he is playing golf um, and 
Josh said, yeah, I'm still doing golf and next year I hope to make varsity though. Varsity is a professional, like in the team and varsity team uh, consists of the best uh, players in the team and that team is going to play against the other team. In the USA, it is common for high schools and universities to have their own sports teams. They usually will have several teams for each sport. The players that are the most experienced and skilled will be on a varsity team. Varsity refers to the team that actually represents the school competitively. Those that are less experienced can still play on the school team, but will be on the junior varsity team or another team that competes at lower level. If you make varsity, it means that in a try in the test, to join the school team, you were selected to join the varsity team. On the way, that's right, you just organize their game schedules on your Commodore 64. In the scene, Rachel is making fun of Cross because he was never playing sport as when he was in high school. He actually just played video games. Uh, their game schedules on your Commodore 64. Commodore 64 maybe is a game a, a game player. Rachel's way to attack Ross is by making him look like the opposite of a cool guy who plays sports, but rather more a nerd who just uses computer, the Commodore 64. Well, it's getting late. I got to get to the game, so I'm going to head. Got to get, got to get, like I have to, I got to get, and I'm going to head that I'm going to uh, go there. If you have got to get somewhere, it means that you have a commitment at the place, so you need to be there. To head is a slang meaning that you are going to leave. I'm going, I'm going to head. Can you guess which of these other slang phrases mean the same thing? I'm going to peace out. We often say head somewhere or ask the question, where are you headed to? No, I'm going to head home. Well, it's getting late. I got to get to the game, so I'm going, I'm going to head. I'm going to, I'm going to get to the game. I'm gonna get the game. I'm gonna get the, to the game. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get to the game. I've got to get to the game turns into, I gotta get to the game. Dope. This is a, a slang, dope. A slang word that means very good, awesome. It is, it happens when Rachel kisses Ross and uh, to make, uh, kisses Josh to make Ross jealous. And I bet he's never set foot in a museum. Set foot in a museum. Set foot, that means you go somewhere. You, if you set foot in a place, you go to it. Well, maybe he get to go soon. He get to go soon. Maybe he get to go soon. He get to go soon. If you get to do something, you have the opportunity to do it. You know, like on a class trip or something yet to do. A class trip or a school trip is an occasion in which students of a school are taken out to the cl a class and to a different location with the purpose of learning by experience. So in this case, Ross is making fun of Rachel because Josh is so young, so she's scared to go to the museum or class trip to be suitable with, with his age. Commonly, we say this, you know what else is really great about him? What else? Do you know what else, what else is really great about him? It's something Ross made up to try to phone our parents. It's a way of giving the finger without actually having to give it. B is silent in all words that end in MB like tum num bomb. To give the finger is the act of showing this gesture. Can you guess what's another way to say? Flip the bird. Lastly, Ross made up. This gesture to phone his parents as a verb to phone someone means to trick someone into believing something that is not true. Biosphere, man, 24 7. 24 7 means all the time. Always, it's like saying all day, every day of the week. Miss my cat sucking boyfriend. Miss my cat sucking boyfriend is stealing from me. This my cake sucking boyfriend is stealing from me. It's a way that you want to mock or you want to uh, tea, tea someone. You put Miss and Mr. at the beginning and then put a phrase after that. Okay, that's it for today.